forest ranger for a large amount of densely wooded forest just north of the U.S. border. 1,200 just signed on to shift. Get a call on the radio for a 10 to 49, missing person, in my area, last seen wearing a sweatshirt, hiking shorts, and a red backpack. Missing for two days now, and was just reported. Mount up, fuel up, and head out into the area he was last known to be in. Cruising for about an hour and a half, decided would be a good idea to start out on foot, as he won't be on any service roads. Notify dispatch to send an additional unit. Wait for a half hour until backup arrives, he's a good guy I enjoy working with. We head up onto a trail that's known for people getting lost, as halfway up it splits and goes further into the woods instead of curving around and heading back out towards the service area. Hiking for an hour, calling out the person's name, keeping an eye out for clues, etc. L wind around a bend and find the remnants of a campsite. Shout out for my partner and the missing gentleman. Partner doesn't come around the corner. Uh dot if. Go back around the corner, partner isn't there. Come up on the radio. Anon, Anon, come in. Officer Anon, are you code 4? Nothing. Well fuck. Inspect the campsite, it's fairly recent, about a week. But no new footprints or indents in the mud surrounding the fire pit, except animals. Decide to wait for partner, he may have gotten lost. Try the radio again, Officer Anon, this is Anon, come in. Are you code 4? Looking around in the trees, listening for any sounds out of the ordinary. Wait for 45 minutes for partner, while walking in a little circle around the campsite. Partner doesn't show up, now I'm a little worried. Go back around the bend in the trail, past the little rock outcropping. Head back the way we came and am looking for any sign of him. As I come up onto a hill, I hear footsteps up ahead of me, boots on the rocky path. Come up on the radio again, Officer Anon, are you code 4? Still nothing on the radio. Dart up ahead to get a good look at whoever is on the trail. Spot a red backpack on the guy. He seems to be walking a little funny, no swing of his arms. Walking almost like a robot. Excuse me, sir. What's your name? I'm 20 feet behind him by this point. Sir. He's still walking like a robot. Hey. He stops, and turns around lighting fast. Are you Herp son McDerp son? He just stares at me. Are you Herp son McDerp, sir? He still doesn't speak, but nods his head. We've been looking for you, let's head back to the trailhead. After about 40 minutes we reach the trailhead, and my slash my partner's vehicles are still there. Now. I'm going to put you in the back of my truck, you're not under arrest, just so you can relax and catch your breath. Try the radio again Anon, are you out there? Anon. The radio crackles to life. This is Officer Anon, yeah, I'm okay. Found the missing person. He's got a broken leg after falling off a small cliff. I've patched him up and we're on our way back to the trailhead. Sorry for not responding, as out of range. Got separated at one of the trail forks. Uh. What dot Abby? Anon, I've got the missing hiker, he's in the back of my truck right now. Silence for two minutes. Anon, lock your truck and grab the 12 gauge from my jeep. What? Just do it, and don't let it out of your sight. Okay dot Abby. Unlock his jeep. Grab the 12 gauge and inspect it to see if there's a round in the chamber. Calmly walk over to my truck and peek in the window. Nobody in my truck, and the cage was bent to a severe angle, with my driver's side door open. Oh shit dot Jeff. Swing around the other side of my truck, and peer into the cab. Nothing. 
close the door, and climb into the bed, sitting on the roof for the hour and a half of pants shitting terror until my partner got back with the injured hiker. He looks at me. You let it get away. What do you mean by it Anon? I'll tell you later. Never did tell me after we got back to the station. Don't know if it's a skinwalker, changeling, or what. But it was definitely nope.gif worthy. I'm back. Talked to my partner today as we were both on the same service road and assigned to the same area. I asked him about that odd incident a month ago. Pulled up next to his jeep as he's filling out paperwork. Hey Anon. How's the shift so far? Eh, a couple idiot kids decided to drink out here, some people having sex. Nothing too serious. So. About that incident we had a month ago. I've been trying to figure it out, and it just keeps confusing me. You never exactly told me what it was. Or why you had me lock my truck and grab a shotgun. He clicks his pen, putting it back in his pocket and closes his citation book. Well, it's not something that you need to know about. It would be in your best interests to keep your nose clean of it from now on. Come on, don't scare me with that G-man, secret agent, bullshit. Just explain what you thought it was. He looks at me from just below the brim of his ball cap. It's something that's lived here long before I ever took this job. I used to live in this area and at night I would always hear my neighbor's voices calling my name, or the family dog barking when the dog was on my bed. Now I'm interested. Dispatch interrupts us with a call about kids shooting animals. Then another call about someone breaking their leg, then patrolling campgrounds and hiking trails, so that's all I got from him today as we weren't near each other for much of the day. But I'll keep pestering him slash x slash. Also, no, I'm not a forest ranger. I'm Smokey the bear that just went north for the summer, to ensure Canadians don't light forest fires when putting out their joints. <laughs>